Welcome Freshies to the survival guide on your very first year in Ateneo. I'm Kiana. I'm a fourth year already. I was in Ateneo as a freshie. The pandemic happened and then I came back as a fourth year. And I can say a lot has changed since then. Like some processes have changed here and there. And so I decided to make like this mini updated version of how to prepare for your back to school and actual face-to-face -face school. So I bet you're all really curious on how this new setup is like. And it's kind of different for school, but Ateneo, I like to believe is the most flexible because they actually offer three different types of class options for you to take hybrid it's either the entire class is on site or the entire class is online flexible means some students can be on site and some students can be online and then there's fully online which is fully online but all right, I guess the big question is like how to Ateneo in these times of like change and everything. And the most challenging I'd say is dun 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 enlistment. And in my opinion, it's the most college thing. I mean, aside from everything else, each time enlistment happens, I get really, really nervous. If you don't know what enlistment is, um, it just means that you have to sign up to your classes because unlike high school where the curriculum is just given to you and your teachers and your sections you now have the option to choose which ones you want to go to so this whole process is called enlistment where you're given a whole list like an entire list of classes and you're supposed to pick the sections and with sections come the time slots that you want to but in freshie year, enlistment is a little bit different for you because you're often grouped in your sections or what they call it blocks this time. And so a lot of you will be taking a lot of classes together. So that's done for you. Enlistment is done for you. Except for certain classes like PE and I'm not sure if it's foreign languages classes. But in your upcoming years, there are times where you have to enlist for everything. And that means you create your own schedule and just managing and planning all that. It's honestly the scariest thing for me just because the whole semester will be dependent on what happens during that small amount of time where you're allowed to enlist. But don't worry, I'll help you on how to prepare for all of that. Everything happens in, you already know this, ISIS, which is basically the Ateneo student dashboard homepage. There you can find most of the things that's needed in order to prepare for enlistment. There's ants on the floor. I do not know why and I'm scared they might bite me. For this part, we need our laptops. First things first, in this whole enlistment process, you have to prepare your schedule. A lot of your classes will be enlisted for you already, but you still gotta know because there might be still some classes you have to enlist for. And the first thing you do there is check your IPS or your list of courses recommended that you take in a certain semester. Now, pick those course codes. Next thing you do is head over to the class schedule. So in that page, it's not your class schedule, it's the class schedule of every single Single class out there you want to go and figure out where each class is and just find the course code and then you'll see there the list of classes that's available kind of figure out what are the time slots and the profs you might want to check the tags because some classes are only for a specific course like you're not allowed to enlist in there now this only is updated like near the time of enlistments I don't think you can check it like way too early right and to help you pick you have to prepare also for the profs that you want now there's this facebook group called profs to pick and ateneo students kind of share their experiences with their professors and here you can find the different teaching styles of profs and you can choose what fits best for you once you do figure out those things or classes that you kind of want now is the time to prioritize i say prioritize because enlistment is a very tricky thing it's a first come first serve basis now you're given a batch number and lucky you if you're batch one meaning you still have lots of choices but basically you have to be really quick especially if you're the last batch so you could still get the classes you kind of wish you wanted each class has only like max number of students that's allowed in it all right but now it's time to actually do enlistment what's gonna happen first is you actually have to know when enlistment starts in general because ISIS is gonna start closing and actually a requirement before you can enlist is to fill up or update each time your student information if you don't you have to be forced to update during enlistment time and that's precious time taken away from you guys but anyways as you do wait for ISIS to open to make sure that I'm always 
on point on when to refresh. I usually put like a timer or countdown to let's say 9 a.m. Anyways, go press and list in my class, which is a new tab that will appear there in the dashboard, except the usual agreement. And then you will be given the list of subjects that you have to enlist in. Now, if you're a freshie with already pre enlisted classes, you need to make sure the classes you enlist in do not intersect with your subjects and then press the button and list in class you'll be given the list of classes there and my biggest tip here is to command f the profs name not course code because a lot of things will pop out weathering sections i don't recommend it if it's like elective now the important thing there is when you are able to enlist and i swear the classes go down real quick you could see the number of available slots left so when you are able to press enlist you'll be going back to the same page where you started and you have to press confirm enlistment even though you haven't enlisted in the other classes yet it's fine you can go back so what you're doing there is like confirming that you're going into this class some classes that run out first and so you might want to prioritize that and do the whole same process and there you have it so I guess a horror story of mine was that sometimes ISIS glitched for me so good luck with your enlistment process I really get nervous each time <laughs> But yeah, I guess I wanted to share with you some other practical tips that's not ISIS related uh, that really, really I would have wanted to know when I was a freshie. And okay, the first thing is you have to strategize your IPS. So IPS, as I mentioned earlier, is the list of classes you have. And basically, you can move that around. And I, me and my friends, wanted a really, really, really chill fourth year with the least number of classes. So what we did was advance a lot, a lot, a lot in our first, second, and third years. So basically, each class has like units or how I'd like to think it's how heavy it's equivalent to. Like, for example, PE can be two units while a regular core class would be three units. And so you're given this max amount of units you can take per semester. We would try to max load and then just advance and advance and advance. So now, in my fourth year, I'm honestly so excited to go to face-to-face because -face I know it's going to be more chill than what it was supposed to be. Um, the thing with that though is to make sure you talk to your advice head thing to kind of help you arrange it. Basically, you also have to check, like you have to go back to your class schedules and then you have to check if this certain class is offered during the first semesters or the second semesters or only the intercession, which is basically the summer classes. And I was really busy. Like, I think you know this, I was gone from YouTube for two years and that's because I kind of max loaded each Time. Second is that Adeneo gives you a lot of free stuff. I have a free Notion, Figma. Okay, if you have the OBF account, like your email, you have unlimited photos in Google Photos. So like, next is a prof can make or break your class. So I like profs that really care about treating their passion and um, are super super knowledgeable in the field. A class I'm taking now, human computer interaction, and I like the prof because he's really he really gives his experiences. And so aside from just theories, we see lots of examples which actually make it better. Next is don't be afraid to join many orgs. I think it's really common for freshies to join a lot of orgs. So actually in Ateneo, there's this event called recruitment week or rec week where all the orgs will be lined up and you know recruit you <laughs> actually something i didn't know before was that there are two types of orgs there's like the accredited ones so these are like the like long ago established orgs such as isec SDA, and home organizations which are basically organizations of certain courses my home organization is actually a lions org which then means i'd like to think of it as a nursery these are the more newer orgs but okay, now for some general college advice that I kind of learned throughout like college. The first is sometimes, okay, especially for my course, sometimes college classes are like a launch pad rather than a place where you're gonna actually learn it in depth. Now this could be wrong about other classes like med school, obviously. So you're kind of introduced to the topics and then I have a reflector here. 
okay and then it's really up to you you really have to invest time and energy to kind of self-learn and get more perspective on it so you can kind of really master or improve your skill in that certain area so let's say i got introduced to research operations which is like wow do you even know that like do you even know what research operations and my prof just briefly mentioned it or gave a brief background it's now my duty to get i found it interesting my duty to kind of really get into it and so i'd research more maybe intern and yeah just read about it a lot next is in most colleges there's an internship or job opportunity fb page and also for ateneo a marketplace called ateneo trade let your batch above you add you there next um be curious to see wow okay here this is something i learned the hard way in college be curious to see what else is out there than just what you hear often so because i'm in a tech course it would be really common to hear just what's trending and everything but there's like so much so much so much other technologies out there that you can delve into and so i think you can just like dip your toes in a little bit everywhere and kind of see what best fits you but the one that your um community or your block always talks about doesn't necessarily be the one you have to be into dior do your own research next is as long as you remember you're finding your own thing and you have your own pace you'll be fine 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 i think you just have to make sure that you're looking for the things you like i kind of wanted to ask my friends as well what they wanted to say they said take fun pe classes right my pe class in freshman year was belly dancing for the fun of it and honestly best pe ever it was really fun <laughs> Okay, wow, this is such a fourth year thing to say, but they say don't block sack walk. I'm gonna leave it at that. Figure out what that means. The next is avoid Bell classes. So Bellarmine is a building that's like so far away from the other buildings. Like, like all the school buildings are clumped together. And then Bellarmine is just like, bloop, there. And so you have 10 minutes to walk each time to go to one class to the other. But honestly, if you want to reach Bellarmine, you have to walk like really quickly. <laughs> Okay, the other one is don't. Like it's literally don't. Her tip is don't. We're seniors, so you you know we have we have some senioritis. Okay. Um, for the more serious ones, well, my other friend said that if she could talk to her younger self back then, it's really just to be yourself, as corny as that sounds, and try to grab as many opportunities when they present themselves because she took a lot of things for granted. And yeah, be present. Don't wait for a later time to do things. That's really nice. All right, and this one, this other thing is find your support group, and it's really hard to do college alone. Okay, so we would really help each other, especially when the le readings are like so much. We would often split the pages and write notes for each other, and we'll just exchange them and give them the best ideas. So you know, really helpful. Just compile all of those in your Google Drive. Okay. Another one is grades aren't important and that's so true. The best thing is really just go for the things that you like. Focus. Focus is so valuable and I'm not really good at that. Resume building isn't all that important. Just do what you want to do and learn the things you're passionate about. Well, the thing I just said, she also said that. You don't need to kiss ass trying to do what you think people want you to be. Sheesh. Don't let anyone define you. Oh, yes. It's kind of getting corny, guys. But honestly, these are from my friends who I've met. And personally, yeah. It's really important to just know you understand yourself when you get exposed to a new batch of people, different kinds of people. And just knowing what's important to you will really help you navigate the space with more clarity so you won't be too confused and distracted by maybe you're doing other things you think is because the next big thing but in reality it's not really and the beauty of college is that you find weird human beings and become a cute bag of candies is her advice last but not the least is that don't be afraid to make mistakes in college because there's literally almost zero consequences when you make mistakes in college it's the best place to learn and then the literal next message is a cuento already so i'm gonna stop reading <laughs> yeah basically that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you feel a little more prepared and you can reach me anytime in my instagram and if you have any more questions feel free to send me some um but yeah that's basically it for this video thank you so much and enjoy your first year and i hope to see you there so 